Hi, I'm David Dawson, lecturer of double bass at Texas State University. In this session, I would like to talk about the basic use of the left hand when playing the double bass. One of the most important things is the fact that to hold the strings down, we do not squeeze the neck. I think because the double bass is so big and the strings are really big, we tend to want to just use as much muscle as we can, but squeezing will create so much tension that it will, um, we'll not be able to play well. There's so many demands being placed upon us. So the manner with which we hold the strings down is by taking the use of gravity and we let the arm literally hang down. Now I like to stand up. If you're sitting down, the base is at an angle and this is done quite easily where you can just let the arm hang. However, standing up, it's still the same thing. Also, if you're standing with the base straight up, you can let the base actually fall into the fingers and then use the larger muscles in your shoulder and your back to pull back. And using those three things, we hold the string down without squeezing the neck. Okay, now there's not really one hand shape that will work for everything that we do. However, there is one basic hand shape that we use. And in this hand shape, the fingers must be rounded. That is to say, the knuckles are not broken like this. Breaking them like this creates tension in the hand again. It also will not allow us to be able to move around and play effectively in tune. So this is also very important. The thumb is placed behind the neck, adding support to the shape of the hand, so we're not squeezing the neck once again. It's just adding, because without the thumb, it's hard to maintain a hand shape. And the placement of the thumb should be roughly in the center, slightly to the G-string side, as a rule. Some people like to keep it right behind the second finger. I find that I like to keep it a little bit between one and two. So everyone's hand shape is a little bit different. People have different length fingers. Experiment and find out what works for you. You want to not have tension in your thumb, this area of your hand. Okay, and for sure the thumb should not be pointed up like this. It should be perpendicular to the neck. Okay. Um, I like to think of two basic hand shapes, open and closed. <clears throat> in a closed shape, the fingers close together, and we just play one note. And this is not uncommon for a bass player to repeat one note over and over. In this way, the other fingers are supporting that one note, or we will hold one note for a long time. However, when we're playing passages, like scale passages, moving lines, I use what we call, what I like to call, the open hand position, where the fingers are open. Okay. We're in this position. We're keeping our fingers over the note in position. Okay. So I don't reach out for the F sharp. My finger's already over the F sharp. I don't reach out for the B. It's already there. And when we go rapidly, this is extremely important. every note that I couldn't do it I could not play at that speed it's also important that we do not lift our fingers too high the farther the fingers come away from the fingerboard the longer it takes for them to come back down so keep the lifting close train your fingers I mean I did this I had to actually train my fingers when I was a young player and in this way I can play rapid passages pretty easily Okay, and it's just a matter of being disciplined, it's really not so difficult. Okay, and then there's unnecessary lifting of the fingers. Okay, and we're going to play a D and a C sharp. After you play the D, don't lift the other fingers. So you can see, keep as many fingers as down possible over the note in position. So when I shift down, the C sharp is already there. Second finger is already there. When I shift down, the first finger is already there. Two's there, one's there, one's there, and all I have to do is lift the fingers out of the way. So I'm not actually placing a finger down for every note. Another element that's important is how you actually position your body um, to the instrument. 
you want to have the instrument so that your elbow is out and around and there's pretty much a straight line coming from your elbow into your fingers. We want to avoid this because this will create tension. And if you're standing too much to the right of the instrument, you will have this break. And remember how we're holding the strings now? We're using gravity. We're also pulling back. And it's more effective to pull back if we're kind of behind the instrument instead of being to the side to it. Okay?